Good lord. You are beautiful. Hello everyone, I'm Waterific, and if this is your first time watching one of my videos, and if you're from the UK, then you probably know that this accent is fake. Now, I'm going to try to do this entire video with this accent, and um, first of all, immediately, I have to apologize because I know I'm not very good at it, but in my defense, a few points. One, I can't hear myself talk when the vehicle's at speed, so I'm literally just doing it without thinking about it, and hopefully it doesn't sound terrible. Speaking of why it doesn't sound terrible, and why I'm doing it in the first place, some of you know I was in Atlanta last week, and uh, Chase on Two Wheels had his British friend fly out, his name is Smo, he's a motor vlogger from the UK, and we had a lovely chat one night, we uh, sat down and read YouTube comments, and we tried doing different accents while we read them, and while I chose to do his accent after a couple days of being afraid you don't want to you do not want to do uh, a British accent in front of a Brit because they are relentless people they've got no sense of humor and their their humor is as bland as their food anyway I got brave enough because Smo is a great guy and so I did the accent in front of him and he actually said he actually said it's really good my accent was really good and I don't know if it was really good very good or quite good but it was good either way and so I, I was very proud of it I mean, getting a compliment from a Brit is is, is, a, is quite an accomplishment, in my opinion. Smo said to me, Water, how about this? You do an entire... Do you mind? Do you even... Do you even mind? She doesn't even know there's people in front of... Come on. Come on. I don't, I don't have patience. Do you mind? Do you do you even mind? Don't, even, don't smile at me. This isn't funny. She's smiling like it's hilarious. Nothing... Uh, that is this, my second biggest gripe in life is, is texting and driving. My, my biggest my biggest thing I hate in life is, is being told what to do. That's my biggest complaint, but texting is right up there. All right, now I'm, I'm aware that um, I'm messing up the accent quite a bit and whatever. You know what? I'm trying. It's because it's a dare. So that, that's what I was talking about. Smo said, you should do an entire video in the British accent, and I will do one of my videos in an American accent. I said, that sounds great. Your American accent is hilarious because when he does one, it, it sounds like a valley girl. I'm not even kidding. He sounds like this. <laughs> I, I, would, I would do more of it for you, but the, the, uh, the agreement was for me to do the entire video with this accent, so here I go. Now, I'm expecting all a manner of negative comments coming from my fans in the UK in this YouTube video telling me how terrible it is. I don't intend to impress anyone. I'm really just doing this because, well, it is fun. I do enjoy doing accents, and you've heard me do them from time to time, and impressions and whatnot. But really I'm doing this because I just can't wait to watch Smo's video with him doing an American accent. So, the link to his channel will be down in the description if you want to watch it and try to find out when that video comes out of him doing the accent. I guarantee you, if you're American, you're going to find his video extremely entertaining. Now, I've got some good news. A lot of you for a long time have been asking for stickers. And I, <laughs> I've just been behind, and I have not had them, ever. I've never had stickers until now. They're on the same website that has the key tags which you can buy that look like this. And uh, I, it's hidden behind there, but I've got a reservoir sock that has my helmet icon on it. On that same website, Metal Key Tags, you can also get stickers. You can get my helmet icon, or you can get Walt Riffic like this. It'll be, uh, I believe, six inches long. This is eight, but you'll get the, you can get Walt Riffic in red or black, and the helmet in red or black. And the link, as always, is in the description, along with the uh, three helmets I wear. Check out those links, and uh, happy day, we've all got stickers now. I want to pull up there and just see what's going on. Be like, hey mate, what's going on? Are you uh, hacking? Are you changing the uh, street signs to say warning, zombies ahead? I have this gag that I've, I've always liked to do to myself. It's just this recurring, basically a scene that I made up just as an excuse to say my favorite word in this accent, That's, and that is the word no. And um, this get basically just goes like this. It's just, are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. It's just an excuse to say the word no. It's my favorite word. The reason I'm familiar with it in the first place is years ago. This is actually a decade now, probably. I had a friend on Xbox Live. Good times back then. And um, he was from Cornwall. And that was my very first impression of the accent and why I picked it up initially. It's been 10 years. Now, the last time I've heard anyone talk in a British accent was last week, or a little over a week ago, when I was in Atlanta. If that's a woman, nope. No, I've got to find a woman and ask her if my accent's attractive. I don't like product, because I, I don't think it's manly, but I've started using suntan lotion on the tops of my arms, and not on the bottom, because the sun never hits the bottom. And, um, 
If I didn't, my arms would be actually legitimate red. But right now they're just like a, a pleasant tan. But they would have been red and white, and I call that a Jar Jar Binks tan. <laughs> you should go, because I know your light's green right now. God. <sighs> Made me wait. You weren't paying attention. What were you doing, huh? Come on, old man. And then there's another idiot just pulling out in the middle of the lane like that. Can't see. God damn. See, I hate that because that makes me look like an idiot to the person behind me. When in fact, I was doing all I could to be safe and drive responsibly. Tonight, I'm uh, meeting up with my friend uh, Bowser, the mechanic, the rider slash mechanic, and we're going to take the top off my Jeep. Sensually, take the top off. I'm really excited because I've had the Jeep for, um, well, over a month now, and I have not taken the top off. It's just not something. Uh, that's easy or very safe to do on my own because it's a three-piece hardtop. It's rather heavy and delicate So I've, I'm waiting for the right kind of weather because now it's supposed to be Absolutely dry for a whole week and hot so I thought well now is the perfect time to take the top off So tonight I'm gonna go over there and take the top off and I'm pretty sure I can't promise But I'm pretty sure that I'll make a video out of it and It'll be a Ruby Tuesday and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Maybe even take Ronan. Yeah, it's a good thing I brought um, my water here uh, my hydration pack because for some reason this accent makes me especially thirsty I don't know why I mean just talking a lot in the heat makes me thirsty but this accent specifically is, is, is taxing are you reading a map or a book because you've got a book up in your face or some kind of paper it means I can see you yeah, you look you're looking at a map he's looking at a map really you can afford a Camaro or whatever that is but you can't afford a GPS I swear a brand new GPS by Garmin is $50 oh there's a there's a custom Jeep right over there it looks a lot like mine it's weird because when I used to just ride motorcycles that's all I cared about but now I see a Jeep like that like that's a lot like mine I really like that front bumper that even that rear tire carrier looks to be the same as mine same color and height and it's cool uh, I got a question for you I got a question it's not even why are you on your phone I've got a question for you how do, I, how do I get her attention? Oh, this, this light's not gonna last. Ah, oh, it's good. Come on. She's not even gonna look over here because she's too shy. It's vital that I know. Look at me. Look at me! <laughs> you see, she passed out. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. Okay, she was passed out. I swear she was. That was hilarious. Hello? There's a dog. Hello? It's a puppy. Hello? Oh, I want to pet him. It's, it's a girl. It's a girl. I'm going to ask her if she thinks my voice is attractive. Oh, I can't. God damn. Damn it. Oh, yep. Yeah, that was uh, that was bad driving. Just bad. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really disappointed. I couldn't find a woman's. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll try again another time. If you uh, liked my accent, let me know in the comments. If you didn't, say nothing. And um, maybe I'll do something else in the future. Otherwise, I've got to go and get footage from Motor Monday, which, by the way, I forgot to say he's been hired because I've been traveling a lot and I've been here as much to get footage from Motor Monday. But I've, I'm on the case now, trying to get footage, trying to get caught up. And I've got, I've got stuff to do. So thank you for watching and I uh, love you. Bye.